What is up, my friends? My name is Echo Thrumi, and today I'm here to do my first clan highlight. And today we are highlighting Clout Gaming here on Clash Royale. Now, you ask, what is a clan highlight? Because this is something new, it hasn't been done by myself. Um, basically, I come down to your clan, I take a look at all the replays that you guys have to offer, I choose three of them, sometimes at random if the chat's really fast, sometimes if I have time to take a look at all of them, I will actually, uh, you know, kind of look through them all and find my favorites, and I share them with you guys, I shout them out, basically, we're giving a highlight to a player, to a deck, and to the clan in general. So if we look at the clan right now, Clout Gaming, they have 35,909 as a, as a clan score. And um, they have 49 of 50 members. They are in a very competitive clan, cloutgaming.com, as you can see right up there. And they are pretty filled up with a good amount of members. Here's your little spotlight for all the members as I scroll through. These are the current members of clout gaming now guys if you want yourself featured on here all you have to do is comment on this video or you can hit me up on twitter at echo through me and you can get your highlight as well i just have to come down to your clan for a quick visit now before i get into some of these highlights i want to take a second and say thanks for coming down to the channel guys i really do appreciate it it means a lot to me so thanks guys now we're going to get into our first replay and i'm going to give it to Conavar as we watch his replay right here and uh, let's take a look. Conovar is on the bottom, and we're seeing a poison, a Valkyrie, Skellies, a, a, um, a Zap Spell, and an Elixir Collector. And how is he going to start this out? Waiting for Elixir to build right now. The Skellies are thrown just to get that Collector available. And from what I hear, because I have not watched this one in full, this is a nice comeback. Let's see. So the Royal Giants deployed down the right-hand line by lane by his opponent. The Elixir Collector has filled his stack of Elixir up. And here comes his defense. A cannon, a Valkyrie, and a Musketeer. Zap spell on those Goblin Barrel Goblins. Nice play. But the Miner comes in and starts slapping things around. Good Zap spell by the opponent. And those, uh, those minions in that Royal Giant really are going to take out that right-hand tower pretty easily. Crazy the power of that Royal Giant. It's just unfair, isn't it? All right, so the Valkyrie finally takes out that Royal Giant. Here comes a Valkyrie Hog push. He pushes her right up the lane until she jumps off to take care of that knight. And the Hog has some decent strikes. That's three, four, five strikes, I believe that was, on the tower. And the Poison takes out the remaining troops. Nicely played Poison. Well played push right there. And Konovar is going to take out this uh, knight on the right-hand lane here just with that tower. As Elixir builds, he knows that that Royal Giant's going to be coming. He is not dumb. How is he going to combat that push this time? Here comes the Miner slapping around that left-hand tower, and nothing is on that Miner. Oh, finally, the King's Tower starts shooting at that Miner. And he drops his one Elixir Skeletons on him as well. Nice play. Good cost. Good, you know, using a low cost Elixir to gain that advantage back. And he has a huge Elixir advantage on his opponent right now. I wonder if he knows it. Is it going to be a Hog Valk push? It is. And there it goes up the right-hand lane. There's 50 seconds left in this match. Nice poison spell. It's going to take out those minions. The Hog gets a few extra strikes. And the Valkyrie still has a little bit of life left, but not enough. And here goes the Knight. Oh, nine hit points on that right-hand tower. It's a zap spell away for being cared for. Royal Giant Miner is played again. Here comes the zap. Well played, zap. Nicely done. Nicely done. All right, he's got to get rid of that right-hand tower. How's he going to do it? With the poison? Nope, he's not. He's not doing it with the poison spell. He needs that zap spell. Where is it? He doesn't want to mess this up, right? And there's the zap. He's got to go on that right-hand tower, and there it is. All right, now let's go for a push up this left-hand lane. You got a full Valk. You got a couple of Skellies, and here comes your Hog behind, and all he has is some Archers and not a ton of Elixir. Poison spell on top. Is this the push? Is this the one? 600 hit points remain. A little bit less because of that Poison spell. Unfortunately, it hit that King's Tower as well, waking it up. Cannon, Musketeer on top of that. Royal Giant. Nice Zav spell. 
Nice play with the Musketeer. Musketeer and Towers on that minor. And one more strike. What a nice comeback. Very nice job, kind of our two tower win. Exciting one. And you know what? Before we got into that match, I forgot to highlight your deck and show everybody what it was. So we'll do that right now. Let's just take a look at that deck that you were playing. And uh, and there it is on the right hand side. He has the skeletons. He has the Valkyrie. Musketeer. Hog. Zap. Poison. A cannon and a collector. So no legendaries in there, guys. That's a deck that most people can play. Well played. Nicely played deck. Okay. What are we going to go here? We got another one from Aloon, I believe. Let's take a look at the deck that Aloon is playing. He has the Mini P.E.K.K.A. Goblins. A legendary princess. Minions. The legendary miner. Barbs. Legendary Ice Wizard and a Zap Spell. So this right here is a very different deck than what we saw last round. This one has three legendaries in it. Let's see how it plays. And Alun is playing from the bottom up. Alun is a level 12 playing against a level 13. So, uh, you know, a few extra hit points on those towers to deal with. Let's see how it's handled. Pekka is played by the opponent. Goblins are played just to kill some elixir and get some nice cards available. And the princess is going to be played from afar. Alun is figuring that all of those hit points are going to be... All of those elixir points are going to be played down the right-hand lane. Thinking he could sneak the princess up there, but uh, didn't end up working in that, in that case. All right, barbarians are thrown on that P.E.K.K.A. Nicely done. They're going to take out the P.E.K.K.A. with the ice wizard and the tower. Good night, Miss P.E.K.K.A. Here comes the push. It's going to be up the right-hand lane. Is it going to be the miner? It is the miner. And some gobs behind just to try and take out that a little bit of those hit points. Look at that. Gobs working on that tower. You got to love it. I love when those low elixir cost troops do some work. All right, the miners in the tower along with the Dark Prince and the mini P.E.K.K.A. Uh-oh. Oh, no, that's his mini P.E.K.K.A. Defending. Woo! I was nervous there for a second. See, that's what happens when you don't look at a replay beforehand. Sometimes you get a little confused, but we got it now. All right, this Ice Wizard is going to be taken out before it reaches the tower. It actually, gets one little uh, freeze on that tower on the right. Minions being played. Miner as well. Minions are going to be taken out by those Fire Spirits. But the Miner is going to take out or at least come close to taking out the Elixir Collector. Try and get rid of that advantage. Here comes the Prince running up the lane. Nice play with these goblins right here. Perfect card to play against the Prince. Although, Prince got through them pretty quickly because of that, that princess back there. All right. Few legendaries in those barbs running up that lane. The miner's on that right-hand tower. And this is going to be it, guys. That miner's going to take that tower down, isn't he? Close. Minor princess. All right. Looks like we had a little dance from that Ice Wizard right there as well. All right, 38 seconds left. We have the victory in the bag. How is he going to hold on to it? Ice Wizard. Barbarians to slow them down. Nice job. But if that um, Ice Wizard is, is really getting his, he's getting his value out of that Ice Wizard. Slow down all of those high elixir cost troops. Really not allowing them to push the tower. Well played. Is the Ice Wizard again, slowing things down. Love it, love it. Barbarians in to just throw right on top. Take everyone out with five, four, three seconds left. One, and that's the round. A one tower win right there for our own Aloon. Nice job. Good attack right there. Don't need to go back into that deck because we already we already take, took a look at that. All right, what do we have Okay, we have a replay here. Max Giant Prince deck. Let's take a watch of this one right here. And again, I forgot to look at the deck before I went in. Whatever. Konavar again. Here we go. You're lucky. Lucky you're getting two right here. Okay, so we know the deck. We've seen this before. We know exactly what deck he is playing. Elixir's building. Valk is played in front of the right-hand tower. 
Is it going to be the hog push with the poison? Let's find out. There's the hog. There's the poison. Yeah, we knew that was coming, right? We knew. We knew how that play was going to work, and it was a good play right there. That hog is getting some work in there, even though it's going to be taken out. Look at that. 1,200 hit points left in that right-hand tower, and this is a 12-12 battle, so it's an even match right here. Konavar is getting lucky here. Two replays in this highlight right here today. That won't happen often, I'll tell you that. All right, so we have a Elixir Collector being played behind the left-hand tower. Giant push on the right from the opponent. All right, the Prince is coming in. Musketeer is going to be from deep. All right, they play a Poison Spell. It's a good card to play right there. How is this giant going to be taken out? It's going to have to be taken out by the Musketeer in the tower. And then you got another Musketeer on there, but that cannon is thrown right in front. Nice job. Save that right-hand tower. Looks like we're fairly even right now, my friends. Each, each, of, the, each of the two beat up on that right-hand tower. Pretty good. Musketeer. Skellies. Valts. And, he, and the opponent threw that poison again. Looks like that giant's going to take down that tower. Uh, along with some guards. And it does. So he's got to have a strong push in this tower right now. Has to happen. And there goes the hog. And the poison. Nice push. Good push right there. And you have some troops right here that are almost dead. But they're still getting a little bit of push in. Taking care of that mini P.E.K.K.A. Alright, we have a tied game. Is this one going to go to OT? Let's find out. Valkyrie, left hand lane. Hog push with a musketeer in the center. Nice play. That was something different. That was something different. And then a poison spell as well, taking out everything. Look at that. Look at the strength of that push. That was insane. Well played with that musketeer in the core, too. I love it. Not what even I was expecting to see right there. Cannon distract that giant along with a couple of skeletons. That was a beautiful, beautiful, smart play by Konovar. This one is definitely worthy of a highlight. Almost took down that second tower as well, that third tower, I'm sorry, the King's Tower. Almost had it. Nice replay, that one was exciting. All right, we're gonna look at one or two more, my friends. Uh, where are we? Just scrolling down, trying to figure it out. Oh, shall we watch a golem deck or a bowler deck? Let's check out a bowler deck right here. All right, so Yoda Phone. Let's take a look at what was going on here. Yoda Phone was using a zap, a bowler, a mini P.E.K.K.A., the poison spell, of course, our ice spirit, the giant, the Ice Wizard, and the Guards. Let's see how this bowler plays. All right, let's watch this one. This should be exciting. Yoda Phone against the final boss. Not often you see bowlers being played, at least not often that I see bowlers being played, so this is, uh, this is exciting. And who doesn't love a purple character, right? <laughs> He missed. At least he threw the oops. At least the oops was thrown. That's funny. All right, here comes a hog skelly push with the musketeer behind on that right-hand side. Zab spell and mini P.E.K.K.A. to take him out. Nice job. Got a few strikes on there, but then that musketeer is going to be distracted with those guards. Well done. I want to see some bowling that I was promised. Those, those guards did a little bit of work. Poison spells back in the bag. Let's see if he's going to miss again this time. Up the right-hand lane goes the Ice Wizard. Now's a good time to play that poison, and it happens. And is the Ice Wizard going to stall her in the poison? No, he's not. Good effort, though. Good effort. Bowlers played down the right-hand lane. Let's see how this works out. Good job knocking him back. Knocking him back. Gotta love that bowler. 
The bowler's not quite as OP as he is in Clash of Clans, but, uh, you know, still a, a nice card. One, like I said, that you don't see often. Those guards are again pushing up that right-hand lane. They can take a lot of hits from that tower, which is nice. They can get a couple of strikes on it with the uh, armor. All right. Ice Spirits, Ice Wizard, Zap Spell, and Tower taking all that down. Mini P.E.K.K.A. Final strike on that hog. And the Mini P.E.K.K.A. Ice Wizard. This is a strong push right here, but... Is he going to get a strike? Did he get one? I don't know. I didn't see the hit points. I think he did. I think he got one hit on that right-hand tower. Here's another bowler push right here. Is he going to try and use that poison and split the two? Man, that bowler's slow. Must be a whole heavy boulder right there. Giants behind. Nice push. Guards, right? Nice guards with that ice spirit. Really taking out that hog. Giant's going to get a strike or two. Nice poison spell. Bowler's knocking back the troops. And they're just out of range of that Inferno Tower, which is uh, a little bit of luck, right? you got two bowlers going down the right-hand lane. It's a pretty close match right now, too. Nice hog skeleton push. Poison spell on top of that, but the, but the skeletons... Don't final, don't get to take out that mini peck in the way you would think. Giants on that infernal tower, but gets taken out. Nice poison spell. 47 seconds. Uh oh, we got a big push coming in here. Mini peck is on the hog. Ice wizard's on the hog. Guards thrown in front of the musketeer, and here comes the guards push. These pushes have been shown to be effective. But the Valkyrie is there to end it quickly. Fire, uh, Ice Wizard slowing down the Valk. And then that Bowler knocking her back. Nice defense from that Bowler. And here's the P.E.K.K.A. And here's the push. You got the P.E.K.K.A. The Mini P.E.K.K.A. Guards push. You can't even see the Mini P.E.K.K.A. in there. It's going to take a few strikes. But here it is. The final strike. Good, strong push with eight seconds left in overtime. Yoda phone. Good round, my friend. Nice use of the bowler and really nice use of those guards. Good value out of those guards. And I'm going to highlight one more replay, my friends. And uh, looks like there's nothing right here. I got a couple of check your replays. Um, I, let's go with... Was that a... Nope. Let's go with one of these right here. Um, uh, kick ass. Is, we'll go with... The first one that Kick-Ass showed. Kick-Ass is in the bottom, playing a uh, Minion Horde, Fireball, Hog, Princess, Goblin deck. Let's see what else is in there as he cycles through. Kick-Ass is a level 12 playing against a level 13, so again, having them deal with a little bit more on the hit point side of, this, of his opponent. Hog, Goblin push with Princess behind, but the Poison spell is played by the opponent. Looks like Barbarians and the Miner are also in this deck. How is this Giant going to be handled? With Barbarians. And it looks like he was thinking about that Minion Horde. Instead, he takes out that Princess with the Miner, who then jogs on over and starts slapping the tower around a little bit as well. Look at this. You have a Barbarian Minion push. If there's nothing to handle those Minions, this guy's in trouble. No arrows, no zap, a little poison, but not before. Not before he can nearly take out that tower. Nice push right there. Vulnerable push, but it was unable to be handled by Hatcher. Waiting for Elixir to build on both sides. Kick-Ass has a bit of an advantage right there. Hog, Goblin, Princess, push. And is the... Prince is not going to take out the Mini P.E.K.K.A. But the Mini P.E.K.K.A.'s life is ending right here from the right-hand tower. And that Musketeer, one or two shots, she will be gone. Or you could just throw in the Barbarians like that. Nice defense right there from Hatcher. But again, that Miner thrown in to take out some of those uh, defending troops. Still strong on his towers. Not a lot of, um, well, plenty of hit points, I should say, left. 
and he has 1,800 left on his opponent's right-hand tower, so he has the opportunity to have a little push right there. He's trying to get rid of this elixir advantage, so he's going to beat down that elixir collector with his hog. One more strike, and he'll be happy. There it is. That'll beat up on the musketeer and finish off that tower. How is this going to be handled right here, this giant push? This could be the final push. The final opportunity for the opponent to get to that tower. Barbarians thrown in front. Nicely played. And they're working on that mini P.E.K.K.A. And they take out that mini P.E.K.K.A. 1,300 hit points left in the right-hand tower. The uh, Miner took a slap. Here comes the Minion Horde. And there's the Zap spell that he they so desperately needed earlier. Another giant push. And the Barbarians just chasing from behind. Poison spell, more barbarians in front. Nice job. Actually, that was a poison spell by the uh, by the offensive push there. Mini Pekus coming at the deck at the tower. Doesn't happen. Nice drop of that hog at the last second just to turn those troops around. So Hatcher, nice attack. Uh, nice battle, I should say. Nice deck. And if we want to look at that deck, where is that deck right here? I mean, I'm sorry I said Hatcher. Kick ass, my bad. Uh, we got we got the Miner. He was playing the Hog, the Goblins, the Barbarians, Fireball, Princess, Minion Horde, and Zap Spell. So what we're going to do, guys, we're going to look at this clan one last time. Again, that these replays were from members of Clout Gaming, who are a legit competitive clan. Check them out at cloutgaming.com. And uh, that is it, my friends. I hope that I start hearing from you guys in the comments and on Twitter for me to come down to your clan so that I can highlight everything that you guys are doing, the decks that you're showing, and some of your members. So that's it, guys. If you don't know me, my name is Echo Through Me, and I have content every single day, Clash of Clans and Clash Royale. I hope to see you guys are back again. Please throw me a thumbs up and sub if you were interested in what we were talking about today. Hope you come back for more. Until then, my friends, be good.